Hey future kindergartners, Miss Chatelaine here. Just wanted to give you a tour of the kindergarten classroom. Now it might look a little different next year, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like this year. So here we go, let's start from the door. So here we are entering from the hallway. We normally would have our lunch sticks out and you get to choose your lunch right away. Then we come in, we have our cubbies. Each cubby has a student number on it and you will have that number all year. So there's the cubbies. Quick turnaround. Then we have our book bins and our book bins are for quiet reading time. We call that stamina time in kindergarten because we're building our stamina, trying to read as long as we can. We have our book baggie turn in. Now this is what you'll get to bring home to practice reading. So book baggies are super fun. We also have our prayer wall. And let's take a look here. So on this entrance we have our steps for what to do in the morning. Now this may change next year as well, but this is what it is for this year. We have lunch choice, check your folder, choose your choice time spot, unstack your chair, table work, and meet me at the carpet for morning meeting smart board. To turn in, we have a special bin. We have the bring to school bin, and this picture on this bin matches the picture in your folder. So if you have anything on that side of your folder, it'll be turned in in this bin matching that picture. And your mailboxes, this is where your folder lives. Again, your mailboxes have numbers too, just like your cubbies. So if you were number one, this would be your mailbox, number one. All right, let's take a look. The tables have some stuff for the Smarties to pick up, but these, I have three hexagon tables right in the center, and then one rectangle table. And each of the tables have a special color, and that's what we can see over here. We have the red table, green table, yellow table, and blue table. And each of those tables have some special bins. They have a marker bin, a crayon bin, and their calendar book bin. So you'll get to find out more about that when you come into kindergarten, what our calendar book bin is for. We also have our water bottle cubbies, so matching your table, red, yellow, green, and blue matching your tables, that's where your water bottle will go, and that's our pencil station as well. Let's see, our library. We have this library over here. Normally we have special month books. So like in December, we have Christmas books. In March, we have St. Patrick's books, all of that kind of good stuff. We have a billion books to choose from. And you'll learn more about the library when you come into kindergarten as well and how we organize it and put our books back. Then here we have our carpet and again we have rainbow. You'll get spots so that you can have one place to go on the carpet every single time. We also have our smart board. That's where we do our morning meeting and morning prayer. And we have some special letters. This is our groves work. This helps us become excellent readers and writers. And we have some more, our Groves letters over there as well. Now those pink things, you might be wondering, what are those for? Well, those, my friends, are for counting how many days we've been in kindergarten. Now, the days aren't correct right now because we've been out of school and doing distance learning. So I haven't been in the classroom to update how many days we've been in kindergarten, but it's been a long time, a lot of days in kindergarten. And we get to do a special celebration on the 100th day of kindergarten. Now over here we have our calendar. And again, Miss Chatelaine hasn't been in the classroom, so she didn't change it from March to April, and now May. Woo, can't believe we're in May. So we have our calendar time, we have days. We talk about what day it was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We get to put the numbers on the calendar to show how many days we've had in that month. And we get to talk a little bit about money. We have our shapes up here, 2D and 3D shapes. I really like shapes. And on this shelf, we have all of our choice time games and activities. So we have games and puzzles, doll, kitchen area. We have some Legos, Tinker Toys, puppets, all of that good stuff. 
And I'm sure many of you have seen that timer before. We use that timer quite a bit to keep us going and making sure we get all of our good work done. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, over here, right next to our kitchen, we have our iPad station. Now, it's empty right now, but that's because all the Smarties are out using them for distance learning. But we have a special charging station for our iPads. And we have our iPad rules right here just to remind us. Let's see, what else? All right, in this area, this is Miss Chatelaine's desk. This is where I work. So a rule that we have is only Miss Chatelaine can go behind her desk unless you are invited to go back there to grab her something. So that's Miss Chatelaine's desk. Hmm, oh, we here we are back again. We've got our back table. This is where we do a lot of teacher small group meetings. Um, this is one of our station spots for lit stations. And let's see. Our birthday pictures usually go up here. I might be changing that next year to something else. But that's where we usually put our birthdays to know whose birthday is in which month. This is just Miss Chatelaine's storage for craft supplies. Um, water bottles, when we fill them up, they go in that special water bottle cubby for our tables. But when they're not filled up, they're back here. This is where we put our dirty water bottles on Friday so that they can be cleaned. Over here we have our all done centers and our Spanish binders. So our all done centers, we have class books that we've made, Where's Waldo finding books. We have some clip cards, some puzzles, some rhyming partners. So lots of good things to do for if you finish an assignment early. We also have our choice time board. So this might be different next year as well, but for this year what, they, what the students would do is they'd come in, they'd find their name, and they'd put it in one of the choice time spots. So we have puppets, art, house, puzzles, play-doh, blocks, what else, games. We have quite a few different options and they'd get to choose and put their name in and once that spot was taken, nobody else could have it. So that's how we did choice time. Well, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, bring them with you for Kindergarten Buddy Day on Thursday, May 21st. I can't wait to see you then. Bye-bye.